Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the pontoon build. In today's episode we're going to be putting the vinyl floor down as well as the deck trim and corners and I'm going to walk you through every bit of it from the ground up. The uh, radius quarters and I believe the navigation lights are in this box. Some uh, navigation lights will go on the bow. These are our radius corners. Alrighty, so I'm on the deck right now. It is a little bit windy today, so if the microphone is picking up some wind, I apologize for that, but we're gonna try to get through this. I'm gonna explain as much as possible. So, um, what we did uh, last time that you saw, I uh, finished off by filling in all the spots here. Um, any, any cracks where water could come through, any low spots like knots, things like that. So we got all of that finished, and uh, as you see right back there, that is our new vinyl flooring. So let's talk about placement of the vinyl roll. The way that I particularly did this is I put the roll on the back of the boat. Now what I did is I started this sheet on the end flush. Now I did not glue it down yet but I'm putting it there so that way when I work my way down with the glue here and I roll this down I can lift the back end up, hit that, and then roll that down because what we don't want to do is we don't want to put adhesive on the entire boat in direct sunlight especially because it's gonna dry too fast. So we're gonna do this in two pieces. So let's talk about some of the items you're gonna need for this part of the project. So we got the floor all done. We have our vinyl back here. Um, you're going to need flooring adhesive. You're going to need a roller. And you're going to need a notched trowel. Now, as far as the adhesive, the most important thing is, is that it's waterproof and it's made for the outdoors. Um, and you can also get marine grade adhesive uh, online. Uh, now, Pontoon Stuff has it, I believe, for $29.99 right now um, per gallon. And uh, for this particular boat, it is uh, the deck itself is 20 feet, but the pontoons are uh, 24 feet. So with a 20-foot deck, 8 feet wide, um, I calculated I'll probably need a little less than 3 gallons, so I went with 3 gallons. Uh, so you can kind of base your calculations off of that to figure out what you're going to need. Uh, the roller is very important. Um, once you roll the vinyl down, you're going to want to roll out every part of that flooring to make sure that you get the glue uh, applied to it. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to roll my sleeves up a little bit here. I'm just going to knock some of it out like this. All right, so we got this part of the boat done. I'm gonna roll down the vinyl, and then we'll continue off to the front. And there we have it. So there's the back of the boat. I'm gonna go over this one more time with the roller. Then we'll begin applying glue on the front. We'll continue to roll out the new vinyl. Alright, so we got the center part completed. I'm going to continue to roll the vinyl forward, grab the roller, and then roll it down. Alright, so now that we have our deck uh, fully finished with the new vinyl, we're going to want to cut off the excess. So to do that, I'm just going to use, it's a, like a box cutter knife, like this. Just gonna pull out the end a little bit, grab the knife. And just work down like this. Thank you. 
so windy. All right, so now that the top of the deck is finished, we got the vinyl down, everything's glued up, edges are trimmed, we're gonna begin with the trim. Now, what I'm gonna start with first are these radius corners. And this is gonna be probably the most difficult part, and it's not really that complicated, so I'll walk you through it if you are gonna do radius corners and you do run into the same problem as I do. Um, the front cross member here uh, is actually a little too long, and I'm gonna have to take my angle grinder and just cut that maybe an inch or two shorter in order to get this on here. All right, so I have a Porter Cable battery-powered angle grinder. In order to fit this uh, radius corner on here, I'm going to have to take off maybe about an inch or so. So let's do that first. All right, so I've traced the radius corner and I cut that off the vinyl uh, with the uh, box cutter knife. Now we're gonna take this jigsaw, we're gonna cut off the excess board and we're gonna power up this nice little Honda generator. Pretty quiet, isn't it? Radius corner here. There we go. All right, so now that we completed the radius corners, we're going to start installing the deck trim. Now, with the deck trim, we're going to have to cut this in order to get it to fit up properly, especially for the bow up here. And uh, what I'm going to use for that instead of the angle grinder, uh, because the battery on that is starting to die, I got a metal blade for the jigsaw. We're just going to trace and cut using that. All right, so for the deck trim around your corners, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it about a half inch of overlap on each side. We're just going to get everything fit up and screws are going right out. There we go. So we got all of the trim installed on the deck. Everything's cut and fitted. Now we're actually going to drill uh, some holes and uh, put in some screws to fasten it. What I'm using is uh, stainless steel screws, just like this. First one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a screw on each end just to make sure it's flush and tight with the deck. Then I'll probably put one or two more screws down the center for, uh, of each piece. Um, now the battery died while using the angle grinder, so I have a corded drill with uh, my little Honda generator here. And uh, that's just what we're going to have to do to get this finished. I want to get this finished so that way you guys can see the video. Alright, so um, I think you get the point. I'm not going to go around the whole boat like I normally would uh, because the battery died and uh, doing it this way uh, is a little bit of a hassle, but I did want to show you uh, what what I was doing. Uh, you're going to go uh, and put a screw on each end just to get that nice and flush um, and tight. You can put a couple more screws down along the sides to secure that. Now when you get to your radius corners, uh, you're going to want to use like an actual bolt, like maybe a carriage bolt or or something like that. That way if you're pulling into the marina and you hit your corner along the dock or or the front of the boat, this thing you don't want to be you don't want secured with little screws as like your like your deck trim would be.
Thanks for watching this episode where we went over the installation of the vinyl as well as the trim and corners. In episode three, we will be going over the installation of the railing and possibly some of the seats. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And we'll see you later.